884-megawatt Suki Kanari Hydro Power Project, located on the Kunhar River in the beautiful valley of Kagan, District Mansara. The project is one of the biggest private sector hydropower developments in Pakistan. In the first episode of Underground Powerhouse, you have seen excavation and support works along with fixing of reinforcement and concreting of Erection Bay. In second episode, we will see powerhouse, transformer holes and ancillary structures. The excavation works are almost concluded, and structural concretes are going on. The 700 meters long access tunnel is designed for excavation, transportation of electromechanical equipments and maintenance during operational stage. The underground powerhouse is 135 meters long, 27 meters wide, and 55 meters high, which was excavated in seven layers. The powerhouse consists of four floors and will be equipped with four vertical shaft Pelton turbines. The excavation and support works of powerhouse up to design level has been achieved in April 2020. The minor excavation of pit for first unit is remaining. The installation of steel reinforcement, cushion concrete and fixing of pit liner has been commenced. The 3D model demonstrates how the foundation of generating units and pit liners would be fixed and fabricated. The steel plates would be fixed step by step according to the drawing, and after ensuring the proper welding and their necessary tests, the concrete works will follow. The water will drop down on these steel plates after feeding the turbine. Therefore the fixing, fabrication works of pit liners and concreting are very specialized work and demand high precision. The steel plates were carefully transported to underground powerhouse and fixed at their appropriate locations. The experienced manpower is involved in this important work. Several pipelines for different purposes are passing through the unit foundation. The welding of these pipes were done with utmost care and tested at greater pressure than designed to carry the water. The bridge crane for main powerhouse is mainly designed for the installation and maintenance of hydroelectric generating units in the main powerhouse. The two cranes having a maximum loading capacity of 225 tons are designed. The crane beams were transported to underground powerhouse and placed to designated location with mobile crane. Each crane have three hooks. The first one is main hook having 225 tons, the second one is auxiliary hook with rated lifting weight of 50 tons, and the last one for the electric hoisting with 10 tons capacity. After fixing the main beams on the track, the installation of guide rails, operating cabin and other electromechanical works are in progress. The erection bay has been constructed near the south end wall of the powerhouse. It is divided into erection bay 1 and erection bay 2. These are the part of powerhouse that provides laydown space for assembly and disassembly of the turbine and generator. These bays will be used during construction and for major maintenance operations. The transformer hall is located 45 meters downstream of powerhouse and connected with two internal access tunnels. The transformer hall is 127 meters long, 18 meters wide and 22 meters high. It is divided into two floors. Transformer room is on the first floor and HV outgoing cables are on the second floor. The first floor will be equipped with 13 setup transformers. The excavation has been done in four layers and almost concluded.
at some location, blinding concrete works has been started and soon the structural works will commence. Four bus bar tunnels has been constructed between powerhouse and transformer hall. The core purpose of the bus bar tunnels are to carry the power cables from generating units to transformers. The excavation works have already been completed and concrete lining of bus bar tunnels are in progress. The powerhouse complex has been surrounded by many other ancillary tunnels. These tunnels are mainly used past the cables, emergency access, exhaust and ventilation system and drainage purposes. Two layers of drainage galleries has been constructed around the powerhouse and transformer hall to drain out the ground seepage water. The excavation of upper layer drainage gallery has already been completed and recently excavation of lower layer drainage gallery has been completed. More than 23 km long headrace tunnel divert the water and bifurcated further into two branches of penstocks. The penstock system have eight pressure tunnels and six pressure shafts. Recently the excavation of vertical pressure shafts expansion is in progress which will break through in lower chamber and further bifurcate into four branches to feed the Pelton turbines located at Powerhouse. Apart from unit's foundation and installation of pit liner, the invert cleaning and blinding concrete in powerhouse is going on. Stay connected with our channel to enjoy upcoming episodes. Thanks viewers for watching. Thumbs up if you like. Write us your suggestions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more exciting videos.